All right, a couple more lightweight tripods. As you know, the smallest, most lightweight anything is my obsession because I travel, I hike a lot, and I like small lightweight stuff because every ounce adds up. So here's a couple more tripods that I'm gonna go with. The funny thing is I don't even use tri. The only thing I ever use tripods for <clears throat> is to put a little camera on it when I'm filming myself talking on location. That's the only thing I ever use it for. The thing I use the most when I travel is light stands because you know I'm always hand holding my camera and I'm using a light to hold up a light stand. A light stand to hold up a light. <laughs> but I don't really use tripods that much but I'm so fascinated with them I just keep buying them because I keep wanting to see how lightweight I can get, how small I can get. The, the most lightweight one, my favorite one still to this day, is still this one here. It's the Photo Pro Aircross 3 Carbon, 60 inches, which is the right height, it's eye level. It's only one pound 11 ounces, which is 788 grams. And it's the fastest as far as setting up and, and taking down. It's, it's the, <laughs> by far the fastest one that you can and look how small it is. So 788 grams, 60 inches high, nothing beats this. The cl if you like video, this is the video version. This is Yulanzi and Photo Pro uh, co-production. It's the Aircross F38. Same thing, but with a video head. It's a two inches taller. Uh, this thing here costs $190. If you go on uh, AliExpress, it's like $130. It takes a little bit longer from China. But this one here is also, it's about $200. Probably get a little bit cheaper on AliExpress. It's got the video head. I don't use this one that much, but I like these ones. There's a new one from Freewell called the T1 that fits in between these two as specs go. It's the same height and has a ball head that can pan and has a mini video handle. At 1.9 pounds, 900 grams, it weighs more than the Aircross 3, but less than the Yulon F38. It collapses just as small and has quality carbon fiber construction. The heaviest part is the head and I never use the video handle so luckily the head comes off and you can screw any lightweight 3 8 inch compact head you want on there like this ball head from Small Rig which just happens to have the same colors so it matches perfectly and now the whole thing weighs exactly the same as the Aircross 3. Great! Except for one thing. It costs $300. If you order it right from the company website in China, you can get it at $250, but that's still $120 more than the Aircross 3, and I assume out of the price range of most people watching this video. So let's move on to a couple of real budget-minded ones for under 50 bucks. I got these off of Temu, T-E-M-U. It's another China site. This one's $49, Q160D Micro SLR. And what it is, is you know how these legs, they go like this? where you twist and turn and push. Well, this part does the same thing. You turn it and it collapses down and then Here's your tripod. One pound, 9.8 ounces, which is 731 grams. It's a little bit lighter, actually, than this one, and it collapses considerably smaller. I don't think it holds as much weight as the Aircross 3, but it's a great little tripod that goes up to the same height for lightweight cameras. And then there's this one here. This one is, look how tall this thing is. <laughs> 72 inches, only $33. This one's $49, and this one's $33. So remember, this one, this is high quality, uh, but it's it's between 130 and uh, 190 dollars. This one is only 49 dollars, and this one's 33 dollars. And look how tall it goes. So for 33 bucks to go this tall, that's pretty amazing. And it's got the locks here, which is you know the old school easy way to do it. It's really lightweight. It weighs nothing. It's two pounds, 5.4 ounces, which is one kilogram. So it weighs a little bit more than the other ones, but it goes considerably taller. So here you can see the prices and the sizes. The longest one is 21 inches and the shortest one is under 11 inches. That's pretty amazing. And it goes up to the same height as the one next to it. This is more for smaller lightweight cameras. That's, well, if you're traveling or if you're hiking or traveling, you're probably taking smaller cameras anyway. So there you go. There's my, uh, my tripod thing for the day. These are so, easy and fast to set up and there you go eye level i love it and then this one here same thing one two three and then you pull this one up and 
lock it in place. It's almost the same height. Okay, well, that's my thing for today. I share the latest discoveries, me playing around. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.